what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how you can make your Windows PC faster with a few simple comments. If you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. And you guys what I want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top guys we have multiple categories and what we want to click on in today's video is FPS boost so therefore just simply click onto it and you get redirected and once you're here on a new page you should see a post here on the top with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now again click onto it then you should get redirected you're just simply going to scroll down a little bit until you can find this download button which is going to lead you to Google Drive and then you should have this new file here on your desktop which is going to be called cleanup system we're going to right click onto it and actually extract it all here onto our desktop and in there should be a comment prompt we're going to open it up guys and our first method which we're actually going to do guys is reset basically all the cache on our pc so we're going to copy it here press then windows key plus r to open up the run um, command put it in there vs reset click onto ok and what you can see here right now guys is that this window actually doesn't display anything because this is like sort of like a bug on windows 11 which i'm running right now here on windows 10 it should actually show it what it's doing but this is automatically going to close in like the next few seconds and once it actually closed guys it should definitely reset a huge chunk of your temporary data on your pc just simply try it out then next up we have here windows key plus r and prefetch which we're going to open so therefore again windows key plus r type in that prefetch click onto ok and then we have a new folder here as well with temporary data which are just slowing down your pc you know basically like each and every single time you do an update of like a certain driver or stuff like that it's going to save it in here so we're gonna select everything go here onto more options and delete it entirely and then we're already good to go here then next up we have clear dns cache guys this is especially super important um, if you have like internet connection issues, you know, like something like hyping out of nowhere. So therefore cleaning your DNS cache once in a while does also help you with like internet connection stability. So what are you going to do is again here copy the command. Then we're going to go into our CMD this time, but make sure to actually run it as an administrator, paste it in there guys. And you can see now successfully flush the DNS resolver cache, which means that we now get a new one basically and new data are getting created by your PC. So therefore this can already fix like high paying or um, in general like package loss. And for the last step guys, we're going to clean up now our system storage. You know, there are like some unnecessary applications or your download folder, all that stuff basically. And what are we going to do is just simply type in storage into our Windows search bar until we can find our storage settings, open it up. And you can already see now how many data you have like from like different categories on your PC. Something like videos, you can see I have like 223 gigabyte apps and features, almost a terabyte. And what are we going to do is go here onto cleanup recommendations. And they can see now downloads and recycling bin guys. And I can free up well over 30 gigabytes with that. So I'm going to click here onto yes now and continue. And you can see it here now. It's going to work in the background cleaning up my PC. And just like that, I cleaned up 30.1 gigabytes guys. So therefore this is definitely going to speed up your PC. And yeah, once we now actually going to check in my system storage, you should then see that I have way more available now. I still have quite a bit here actually on my PC, but yeah, for the rest it's been here like cleared now. And then you're already done here with all these steps guys and i hope that this was helpful and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace